subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Asian Palm Civet. Hero! It's dinner time! Hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet? So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Oh no, come back, Civet It's going to another plantation We better go after it Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea Ugh, This place smells the smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There, on the ground. That's not our civet, it's a wild boar. Poor boar. I don't think it deserved that. There you are. You got us worried. Great. We found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the jeep. We did it. We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone. an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. 
So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The dawn bat. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, buddy. Look, it's starting to bloom. It's beautiful. Now I will draw it. Look, Hero, my very first drawing of a night-blooming plant, the water lily. <coughs> oh, night-blooming plants are plants with flowers that open only at night. <coughs> Let's look for more night-blooming plants to draw. <coughs> hmm, what's that over there? Come on, everybody, let's have a look. That's not a plant. It's a bat! I wonder what kind of bat this is. Do you think it wants to drink our blood? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, what kind of bat is it? Hi, Leo. The bat you found is a dawn bat, which is also known as the cave nectar bat. It drinks nectar. Not blood. And nectar is the sugary liquid found in plants, right? That's right. But this bat prefers nectar from night-blooming flowers. It also feeds on pollen. That's the powdery stuff on flowers. When these flowers bloom, they have a very strong smell that attracts the bats. But why was that bat behaving so strange earlier? Dawn bats are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. You must have frightened it with the flash when you took the photo. Oh, no. I'll make sure to switch off the flash next time. Where does it come from? Dawn bats live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Should we return it to its home? There aren't enough dark places for it to rest here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the bat would love that. Let's go. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Wait, come back Where are you going, little bat? Which way did it go? It was too fast to see Katie, take the wheel I'll search for the bat with my sound detector While you drive Good idea, Leo Now let's see it's this way. Turn here, Katie. Can you see anything? No, but... It smells weird here. Hmm. I find it quite nice. It's coming from there. Lead the way, hero. Ugh. The smell is getting stronger. It's the dawn bat. It must have been hungry. Look, it's feeding from that flower. Hey, is that a night-blooming plant? This flower is part of the durian tree. And you're right, Leo. The flowers blossom only at night. Are you ready to join us, Dawn Bat? Careful, Leo. See those sharp, spiky things up there? Those are durian fruits. When the durians are ripe, they fall down, so don't stand too close. Thanks for the warning, Katie. Look! Both the fireflies and the bats feed from the flowers on the trees. Goodbye, little dawn bat. We did it! We found the dawn bat's home. Great work, everyone. Today, we found a dawn bat in our garden. We learned that the dawn bat feeds on night-blooming flowers, 
Ann lives in caves in large groups. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sunda Slow Loris. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's a truck. The driver must be in a hurry. What is it, Hero? It's an animal. Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. Oh, the cage is locked. I'm sorry, animal. I can't open it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here. Find anything, Katie? Yes, I did, Leo. The animal you found is a Sunda Slow Loris. A slow loris will freeze and cover its face when it feels it's in danger. This position allows it to lick its elbows, which will give the slow loris a toxic bite. This bite is painful and can make you very sick. I can't believe the slow loris has a toxic bite. It looks so cute and cuddly. Many people think so too, which is why slow lorises are captured and sold as pets. Sadly, slow lorises do not live long when they are kept as pets. The slow loris is also endangered, which means it's in danger of disappearing forever. I see. So where does the Sunda slow loris come from? Sunda slow lorises live in rainforests in Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day. During the night, they slowly climb around in trees looking for food like fruits, plants, insects, and even eggs. The truck you saw earlier could belong to an illegal pet trader, or maybe it was someone from Animal Protection taking the slow loris back to its home. Then we should do that too. This slow loris belongs in the wild. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a sun bear. <sighs> Careful everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh no, slow loris. Hey. What just happened? The sun bear smelled the toxic saliva on the slow loris's fur. So the sun bear knows that the slow loris is not good to eat. Well, that was close. Now let's get you back to the jeep. We did it! We found a home for the Sunda Slow Loris. Great job, everyone. Hooray! We found a Sunda Slow Loris in our garden. We learned that the Slow Lorises should not be kept as pets, but that they belong in the wild. So we went to the rainforest to find the Sunda Slow Loris a home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Pygmy Hippo. 
Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? <coughs> hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Hey, is that a hippo? But I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? Good idea, Hero. Maybe some leaves to eat will distract her. Here, Hippo. Please. Please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Leo. The jeep is here. OK, pygmy hippo. It's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie. I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. It's working. The pygmy hippo is out. Hooray! Yay! We did it. We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo. Hooray! Yay! found a pygmy hippo in our garden. We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. So we went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. 
Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.